touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We Growing up as a girl, we have registered this information in our brains that we can only be validated if we are pretty, or if, or, or if you dress in a certain way or look in a certain way. So what happened is, she literally put all her efforts in her looks. And I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, but when you don't have anything to focus on other than looks, you always seek validation externally. We thought that one day your Prince Charming aka your husband will come and he carry you and he secure you. But what if one day your husband is not there for you or your father or family or your loved ones is not there for you? Like just be practical, anything can happen in life. There is always going to be positives and negatives. You will carry yourself on positives, but what are you gonna do on negatives? Where you are going to place your security? Looks, your looks will temporary. After some time, they will be fade away. Money, again, that is not guaranteed. Growing up as a girl, we never thought how to make our own decisions. And we don't even know how to take a stand for ourselves. And this is not your parents' fault. They did best they can do. This is how society things work. I know this feels so bad to talk about these things, but this is what it is. Not every time someone is going to help you out. Some days you have to carry yourself. Some days you have to get up by yourself. And you are not inferior to anyone. Even this society told you that you always need someone or something to survive like validation, looks, husband, father, brother. No love, you are stronger than you think. You should start making your own decision and the validation, the security you are seeking, give it to yourself. You are so much more than you look. Your willpower, your belief system, the kind of person you are, your talents, skills, these are your powers, the real powers. And these are the things you can place your security. God has not sent you on this earth to be insecure, to be anxious, to be inferior, to seek validations. Your childhood is the initial state of your mindset. If you grow up in a household where you learn that you should always do something in order to feel loved or appreciated, growing up you might have developed a habit of people pleasing or doing extra in your relationship or where your partner always be like, I love you but you have to do something for me. This is like the good girl syndrome where you convince if you become the best, you are going to win over that person. You are literally seeking approval. If you experience abandonment in your childhood, like emotional abandonment, like your parents never checked up on you emotionally, they never valued you, they did not provide you that nurturing aspect, they always disappointed. Now in all these cases, there is a lack of love. So now what happened is, the love that you never get from your parents, now you're going to seek that love from your partners. From your boyfriend so what happened is because that part of you is unhealed you are going to attach to people who are not good for you and also this is not your partner's duty to, f to fill all that needs you did not get as a kid and at this time you do not need relation with others you need a secure relation with yourself you can become your own daddy at this very moment you can write your own story the way it serves you the best. She know her values, she know that she born as a queen and she deserve to be treated as a queen. And it comes to your values again, I'm not talking about external factors like money, fame, beauty standards etc etc. Being queen is your birthright. Don't let this word tell you that you be in a certain way to be a queen or to be valuable. I was watching RC Blake's video and he gave this example of Jake's. He took a hundred thousand dollar and he said, what is the value? Everybody said hundred thousand dollar. And he threw it on the floor and he, 
and he said what is the value of this and everybody said hundred thousand dollars he took the same hundred dollar and he tore it in half and he asked what is the value and everybody said hundred thousand dollar and what the point of this example is it does not matter how much life has beat you up it does not matter how much mistakes you have made your values can never be taken away her values does not depend upon how others view her because others not seeing your power does not mean that is not here your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth queen does not prove herself to anyone she is not jealous of anybody she is not hating on anybody she is not insecure to anybody because she know no one can be her and she do not want to be like anybody else you are enough everything you need is already within you